Bush. There we go. Oh, the opening. I love the opening. Beautiful. All right. Are we on? Oh, well, wait till the opening's over. Is the opening over? Mm-hmm. It's, the open, it's, it's frozen. It's a little behind for you. So, oh, that's right. It's a little behind. Jesus. Who keeps moving this? Can never get in here. Hello, everybody. How do I look? How do I look? Do I look good? Is the hair on point? Is the hair on point on today? Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my 18th press conference. My 18th press conference. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? What do I always do? What do I always do? I always hug the flag because I love, love, love this country. Tremendous country, great country, fantastic country. So I always hug this one and I kiss the flag and I tickle the tassels. I tickle the t- I found out later that the flags like to have their tassels tickled. So I'm tickling the tassels on this flag and I'm coming over there. This is a very very jealous flag, right? Right? Am I, right? Okay. And I'm going to kiss this one. And I'm going to tickle the tassels, too. All right. Listen, we got a jam packed press conference today. Let me tell you, it's unbelievable. As a lot of you know, the leftist, communist, socialist, uh, fascistic fish sticks can't stand me because I'm so successful and they want me in jail. We have a lot of court cases coming up, and I have great people, fantastic people. Uh, but I want to. I want to spread a little love, even to the losers and haters who hate me, because they're losers. They're losers. But I uh, put this out publicly, publicly, uh, to my beautiful, beautiful wife of Milani. I've been married to her for many, many years. I don't know the exact, what's the exact number? Do you know? No, but, okay. Well, we'll check on that. But this is the letter I put up publicly for Valentine's Day. For Valentine's Day. St. Valentine. Have you ever met anyone named Valentine? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But St. Valentine. So, dear Melania, I love you. I love you. Uh, and I love Pootie, too. V. v- Poots, my good friend, uh, Tucker Carlson, went over to see Vladimir Putin. He did an interview with him. But, uh, Melania, I love you. Even after every single indictment, arrest, and witch hunt, and witch hunt, you never left my side. Well, you were never there, but uh, you never left my side. Uh, You've always supported me through everything, absolutely everything, all the ups and downs. I wouldn't be the man I am today without your guidance, kindness, and warmth. Uh, you always mean the world to me, Melania. From your husband, with love, Donald J. Trump, the 45th and 47th president of the United States. See that? She loves me. She absolutely loves me. Has anyone seen Melania? She's not on property. Just let me know if she comes by. That would be fantastic. Today's brought to you by uh, some two very, very special very special uh, uh, products. We have Trump Spunk. Trump Spunk. We have sold millions and millions of jars of Trump Spunk. I whipped this batch up this morning looking at photos of Melania and Ivanka. If you want to have a Trump baby and you can make it happen, if you hurry, if you hurry, by the election, by the election, Trump Spunk. This one's still warm. Yeah, it's still warm. Uh-huh. It, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. This is the other... Br- Listen, we have a deal, folks. We have a deal. Each jar of Trump spunk, and I guarantee you five Trump children from every jar. That's a lot of spunk. <laughs> that's a lot of spunk. Each jar, all right, $1,000. And that's a deal. That's a deal. But if you buy two jars, it's $2,000. You get two jars for the price of two jars. It's really an incredible <laughs> deal. Much better than Trump steaks or Trump vodka or Trump airlines. So make sure you order that today. And and if everybody orders today, and we send a turkey baster, we send some romantic music, best of the village people, great people. Mm, mm. Mm-mm-mm. By the way, by the way, what do we do at every press conference? We end it with YMCA, and we're going to do it with our wonderful reporters that are here today. We have two special reporters from Las Vegas, Las Vegas papers, someone from the Musicians Magazine and someone from the Entertainment Magazine. It's magic and music. It's music and magic. That's what people say about me. I'm magic. It's incredible. We have Raj over here. Raj, say your last name. Raja Ramen. 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 Right. Listen, does that sound familiar? Is it, his father invented ramen noodles. 
Ramen noodles. He's rich. You think I'm rich? Well, I'm very, very rich, but he's really rich. Everyone's eating ramen. Everyone's eating ramen. And of course, we have Jarrett Parker. And his family is very wealthy because they're the Parker brothers. They're the Parker brothers. They have all those games. That's They correct. have all those games. And they're the ones who helped me make uh, Trump the game. And we did yep. very, very well with that. We did very, very well with uh, Trump the game. It was art of the deal. Art of the deal. So we have two wonderful, but give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> We've got yeah. a great group for everyone who's watching. Everyone who's watching. iHeartRadio's, right? Is iHeart's I Heart's watching? iHeartRadio is watching today. Hello, iHeart. I love, love, love iHeart. I love that it's iHeartRadio, which I think is, I mean, no one's listening to radio, except in their cars. But uh, I love iHeartRadio, and maybe we'll do a podcast. Maybe we will. Who knows? Who knows? You never know. You never know. But we've got a great, great press conference for all of you. I've talked about my sponsors. I've talked about my wonderful, wonderful reporters. And, of course, we have, we have my, I'm not going to do everybody. I'm not going to do everything, but we have incredible subscribers. By the way, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you're watching right now, give me a thumbs up because the algorithm, the algorithm will help this get higher up in the placement of the thing, like with with the light, the COVID light, the UV light. You got to get it up in there because the UV light is ultraviolet. That's what fights the COVID. That's what fights the COVID because they say it's coming back. (laughs) They say it's coming back. It's not coming back. I took care of it with the uh, with the uh, vaccine. But we have a lot of new members. We have Catherine Rose. Catherine Rose. We've got Sir Bob Blob Laws. Is that right, Cass? If I say that one right? Uh, he explained it last stream. It's a little bit hard. It's like Bo Blow Bo Blah Blur. Blah, blah, blah. Well, he's been with us. We have Andre Savord. We have Sharon MC. We have Screams. We have Screams, folks. We have Screams. Uh, over medium, Janice Bunch. Janice always, always comes on, leaves great questions, and leaves money. Leaves money. I don't need money. I'm rich. All right? But I have a lot of legal fees. I have a lot of legal fees because the communistic, Marxist, fascistic, socialists don't like me. They don't like me. But we have over medium two. Uh, flies can be Joe Jetta. We love Joe Jetta. She, she leaves so many wonderful comments. It's amazing. We've got not... Vladimir Putin. I have my friend, Vladimir. I call him V-Poots. I call him V-Poots. I always call him in the morning. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing the gray suit. What are you wearing? I said, I'm wearing the blue with the red tie, the white shirt, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Uh, then we have Kitty Witty. Kitty Witty. I love that name. I love that name. You know, if Kitty Carlisle married, uh, well, that's not that funny. No one knows what the hell I'm talking about, Kitty <laughs> Carlisle. Showing my age, folks. We have Kid Combat. Kid Combat. I've always said we have. You should have children in combat. That's so important. We've got SCM9105, another wonderful member. We've got Silk Shooter. Silk Shooter. we got Bobex, who's been with us quite a while, right? Uh, Ash Blund. Is it Ash Blonde? Is it Ash Blonde? It's like Ash R.P. Blonde. Ash R.P. Blonde, who's been with us for two months. Uh, Gerard Smith BV. D-Swing! D-Swing Morell, who's been with us a really long long time. Fofi! Fofi! And of course, SatServe, one of our most earliest members, which is great. So, oh, there's more people. Holy cow. Osprey D40, Raul Duke, Listener. I love the Listener. Steven Russo, Lisa Mitchell, who's probably already made a comment, right? I bet you she's already made a comment. She's actually not in here yet. She's not in nope. there. Oh, and I know a lot of people have to work today. That's because of Biden. Under me, no one worked. <laughs> But now, under Biden, people have to have two, three jobs. It's really sad, I have to tell you. Uh, one with the universe and Falco. Falco is our oldest member. And I don't mean age. I mean chronologically. Go right ahead. You did get a new member, a uh, brand new member, Brian Truong. Thank you for joining Brian. Hello, Brian. Thank, look at Brian to do a new round of applause. A new Woo! member. He's great. And you know, if he's listening here, he'd be listening on iHeart, too. I want to say hi to the Tickety Talk over here. We've got 6 million people on the Tickety Talk. We've got 104,000 on the YouTube. Or we call it YT because Tickety Talk doesn't like YT. And YT doesn't like the Tickety Talk. So from here on out, I can't say either one. So let's get started. Do we have a question to get started? Yes, right down in front, my, my wonderful aide, my wonderful aide, This one comes from Marty Mo. Marty Mo! Marty Mo sent me an email, and I, had, I read it, and I just went right out of my head. 
Marty Mo asks, sir, 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 happy almost President's Day. Thank Will you. Will you be doing you. anything special to celebrate? I'm going to be trying to get back into the White House on President's Day because that's where I should be. But I think it's important that we honor the good presidents, me and Abraham Lincoln, you know, because I always say I'm the greatest president in the history of presidents other than the late, great Abe Lincoln, whose wife was maybe a three. Maybe a three. And folks are being generous. Mary Todd, not an attractive woman. Not an attractive. She was very tidy. She was tidy. They called it stout. No one uses the word stout anymore. That, that's sad. I think we got to bring back stout because she was stout. You know what I mean? So, uh, but we have, to, we have to honor me and President Lincoln, but nobody else. Certainly not Joe Biden. Oh, come on, man. I'm doing great. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, the malarkey. Oh, the popcorn with the, the hair on my legs. Listen, I've got the cognitive down, folks. When I when I mistake Nancy Pelosi for Nikki Haley and Nikki Haley for Nancy Pelosi and Obama for Biden, I'm doing that on purpose just to make the leftist radical communists confused. Go right ahead. Kaiser Suzuki donated. Kaiser Suzuki. He donated four. That's a piano, right? Raj, that's a piano, right? That's, Suzuki. That's a piano. Suzuki, yes, Suzuki see Suzuki that? Piano. I know my music. I know my music. Go ahead, Hans. Uh, they donated four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. That's Thank good. You. Thank you. Woo! Every dollar counts. Those attorneys, those attorneys are expensive. Believe me. Believe it, me. Is, it is Kaiser's first super on a live stream. So thank, thank you, you. Kaiser. Kaiser asks, sir, 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 do you have $500 billion in your checking account? Not right now, I don't, because uh, you know who's going to take $83 million. Over here to Jared, over here. Yes, hi, uh, Mr. President. Hello, well, Jared, how are you? Yeah, you look well, very nice today. Thank you. I am tight. You must have been in the military. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, Yeah, well, we're a little concerned. Where is Melania? Oh, you know what? This is a question I get asked every Thanks single... We've done 19 chat. of these, right, Cass? 19, 18, 19. And people ask all the time, where is Melania? And I have to tell you, we're in the middle of a three-month super, really fun, fun. This is fun. <laughs> she loves to hide and seek. She loves to hide and seek. And Mar-a-Lago is very, very big with a lot of doors to the outside. So she's able to get out and she hacked off the uh, ankle bracelet. So we're not exactly sure where she is, but I'm going to FaceTime with her at some point and we're going to track her down. Uh, but she loves me. And uh, as you heard from my uh, my wonderful message to her, I never heard back on this, by the way. Sweetie, if you're watching, just let me know if you're OK. Just let me know if you're OK. That would be fantastic. In the back there. Right, Mr. President, Mr. Yes, Roger Rahman from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Thank you. John Thank Hugh Roberts says, Dear sir, I have impregnated my cat with Trump spunk. Yes. And I'm thrilled to announce that we are expecting twins. When can I expect the first check to pay for their maintenance? Oh, obviously they didn't read the disclaimer. We were very clear in the disclaimer <laughs> that I will provide no monetary uh, support to any of my children. And I do that now, by the way. But certainly the ones produced from Trump spunk, only $1,000 a jar. Uh, you can have your own children, but we don't we don't do interspecies. We don't do interspecies. So no more cats that look like me. Though a cat with my hair would, would be a very attractive cat. Would be a very attractive cat. But if everybody gets on board and we get everybody pregnant with Trump babies by uh, Inauguration Day 2025, I want everyone there to hold it up. It'll be like the Lion King. <laughs> it'll be like, but it'll be the Trump king. It'll be the Trump king. It'll be absolutely fantastic. Do we have a question? I have Go a comment, ahead. sir. Uh, this comes from Felix DK. Felix DK. You know what? Another name not enough people are using. What's the last time you met a Felix? I like that name. I like Felix. I think we should have more Felixes. Felix said, always a treat to watch you, sir. I am Danish and oh, watching I in love Denmark. Danishes. I love Danishes. I have tears in my eyes from being granted such an honor. That's great. I love the Danish people. And that's in the Netherlands, right? That's in the Netherlands where Peter Pan was, the Netherlands. The Danish people. The Danish people. <laughs> I love the Danish people. They make great pastries. Wonderful people. Thank you so much from Danish land. Hey, wait, wait a minute. What country is Danish? What country is Danish land? 
Is that Netherlands? They did say in Denmark. Oh, in Denmark. That's right. I knew that. I was testing you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's very noisy yeah. in the press room today. Yes. Very yes. noisy. Yeah. Denmark's a great country. And there's, you know what's in Denmark? <clears throat> Windmills, which are killing, which are killing seagulls. It's very sad. It's very sad. And pigeons. Go right ahead. Do you have a question? Sir, sir, right here. Uh, well, the question, the, yes, you're very funny. Uh, there's a Thank comment, you. sir. We love you from Nassau, Bahamas, at oh. Dolphin Alexandra. Yes, and then there's another question, right? Mr. Bobby, uh, what is the correct Mr. definition Bobby. of interpose? Interpose. Oh, well, interpose <laughs> is when I say something and then I put another layer on top of it. I'm interposing it because people think I don't know what I'm talking about when I mentioned uh, Nikki Haley in, in lieu of Nancy Pelosi. I interposed. I interposed. And people I said see. I wasn't using the word right. Look it up. Interpose. <laughs> interpose. Go right ahead. Yes, Gary. Mr. President. Yes. You know, I think America really, really would like to know what's your favorite fast food, McDonald's or Burger King? Well, you know, I, 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 I would, you would think it would be the king. You think it would be the king. But McDonald's, I have to tell you, I don't know what they're putting on their French fries, but they're absolutely delicious. The Big Mac is incredible. The McRib, if they ever bring it back. They never tell me. It's so sad. They must be leftists. But the burgers are fantastic. <laughs> and you know what's really good? Here's a complete meal, folks. Here's a complete meal. A, bur uh, uh, a Big Mac, uh, Diet Coke. Everyone knows I love Diet Coke. I got my little can right here. You know, in the White House, I had a button on the on the uh, desk. The, uh, the desk, I go... I, right, and they, they would hear that in the kitchen, and this would come right out of the desk. And I know, but by the way, this is a full full size can of Diet Coke. Look at that; my hands are huge. I had big, very big, masculine, wealthy billionaire hands, presidential hands, presidential hands. But I love I love the McDonald's and the perfect meals, the Big Mac, the Diet Coke, which is right here, uh, uh, the fries, which I supersize, which I supersize, and of course, and of course, the hot apple pie. The yeah. hot apple pie. Go ahead. Yes, but, uh, to carry on with this a little bit, I don't mm. know if you've seen in the news lately, the new Big Mac um, full dinner, it's 18, over $18. Really? Over $18. $18. See, What's they, happening here? This, this is, is Biden's food. America, folks. This is Biden's America, <laughs> where you can get a cheap meal. You could, When I was president, Big Macs were a nickel. Were a nickel. You could get the whole meal for 10 cents, and now, and now it's $18. How do you explain this? How do you explain this? You know, the left says it's money grubbing CEOs. Lies, all lies. It's the people. They want to pay a lot of money. Go right ahead, Dana. Sir, sir, two people. I golf Jay Tweetler says, what will you miss most in prison? Okay, enough with the prison stuff. I'm not going to prison. I'm not, the worst that could possibly happen is they'll put a tracking device on my ankle like the one we put on Melania, and I'll have to do home <laughs> confinement, which isn't bad because I live in a mansion and it has two golf courses, so I think it'll be fine. And by the way, by the way, if I actually go to a regular prison, I will be the most incredible inmate in the history of inmates. I will unite the Aryan Brotherhood <laughs> with the Mexicans and the, the black guys. It'll be absolutely incredible. <laughs> I will bring people together. I'm a, I'm a, I, I unite people. I unite people. I don't divide people. I unite people. The Aryan Brotherhood will be doing very well. Believe me. All right, next question. This one comes from Janice Bunch. Janice Bunch. What did I mention? Janice, you're on the list. You're on the list. You're right here. <laughs> You're right here, Janice. This is a much better question for you, Mr. President. Thank you. She asked, how's the winning? Uh, so much winning. <laughs> so much winning. We've got Fannie Willis on the run. By the way, you know, I always say names that are outdated. Fannie is not one you needed to bring back. Why did they bring back Fannie? I don't get it. But she, listen, listen. She was having an affair with a guy she hired to prosecute me. I think it's disgusting when people have affairs. Don't have a, I would never have an affair. I mean, I would do it with a porn star and a playmate, but she did it with an attorney. That's disgusting. That's really disgusting. You should have affairs with famous people, not people who aren't famous. So that's where I stand on this. And I think we all know Fanny's gonna go <whistles> like this. She was on the stand yesterday and she was doing that thing where they, she swings her head. She's in trouble. She's going down. And it's not that I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. I just needed 11,870 votes. And I asked them, just find them for me. And I said, please, go ahead. Ami says, sir, 
Sir, sir, sir, when will you open a golf club in Greenland? And why did you bury Ivana on a golf course? Well, I'm going to take the second question first and the first question second, okay. kind of like the amendments. The second amendment should be the first amendment and the first amendment should be the second amendment. But we really don't even need the first amendment. We just need the second amendment and golf. Golf is incredible. Why don't they mention golf in the Constitution? Well, when I'm back in office, golf will be in the Constitution and we're going to convert half of all golf courses to cemeteries. That way I can get a tax break on every single one. That's why Avada is buried there. Number one, going back to the other one, Greenland. Was it Greenland? I tried to buy Greenland. And you know what? I found something out. Greenland is not green. It's full of ice. Iceland is green. This is the kind of deceptive marketing <laughs> I have been against for a long time. These countries need to change their name and they should change Denmark to Danish because that's what I think about when I think about Danish. Danish, not Denmark. All right, next question. I feel, like, front. I feel like I need to say this, Mr. President, because they said it three times in the chat. Uh, Wolf Shanzi, 1944. I know that one. Said. Wolf Shan is Wolf Shanzi a member? No. We've always gotten comments. Well, if Shanzi become a member, you'll love it. This is this is really important. They said, sir, sir, your hands, they're so massive. Oh, mighty God, Lord. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> powerful, powerful hands. What is Biden? Oh, oh, what does Biden have? Biden has little, little tiny. Come on, man. I got little baby tiny hands. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, give me a break about my tiny hands. Oh, I'm very slim for a man. Look, I'm a very manly man. I can't help that. That's why women love me. You know what I mean? That's it's the thing. Look at the big, powerful hands. I like that. I like that very much. Jared in the back. Yes, uh, Mr. President. Oh, no, what? one second. I have to have a drink of water. Oh, sorry, sir. Go right ahead. No worries, sir. That's OK, sir. That's OK. OK. We're waiting. That was Trump water. It's the wettest water you can buy, along with Trump spunk, but don't eat it. Okay, this is just for baby making. This nut custard is not going to be around forever. <laughs> All right, go right ahead. <laughs> so, Mr. President, one of the things that we'd like to know here is um, the $83.3 million. Yes. Okay, that you were, are now To a person I never met. To Jean person Carroll. I never met. Yes, so e, what's going I'm on? I'm not even going to say her name. I will just say the letter E, and that'll be, you know, that'll be fine. Okay, now, wh what's going on with that? Yeah, I, I, have you paid they, the bill? They want me to pay it. They want me to pay it. But I don't think it's fair that I have to pay it. I mean, uh, Stormy was free. And I don't know, E.G. Carroll, $83 million. I don't really see how that works out for me. I get no benefit from that one. Believe me. Believe me. So we're going to try to figure it out. I, I, I asked if we could Venmo them the money. They said it was far too much. Go ahead. Sir, <laughs> sir. Yes, Screams in the back. says, sir, 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 would you trade New York to Canada for Alberta? You have mm. so many fans in Alberta. Well, let me talk. Let me talk about. Let me talk about New York first. New York used to be a fantastic. I know that you live there. Yeah. I used to live there. They kicked me out. It's absolutely horrible. Uh, but New York now. You go to New York right now. You land at the airport. They steal your bags. There's murder, mayhem. Uh, th there's buildings on fire right now. It is like it's like a war zone. It's like a war zone in New York. So I don't like New York anymore. I used to like New York. I used to say. I am going to build a wall around New York and make New Jersey pay for it. But I think I think I could go to Alberta. And by the way, folks, I love Canada. I love, love Canada. I've been there like three times. It's like another country up there. And what is it? What is a Canadian? It's an unarmed American with a better attitude and a shittier health care plan. But that's OK. That's OK. So I'm going to take that deal when I'm back in office. We're going to do a switch. We're going to do a switch. Uh, how big is Alberta? How big is Alberta? It's very big. It's about the double the size of Idaho. Really? Yes. Wow. That's huge. It's a that's large huge. province. And there's a lot of undeveloped stuff up in Canada. And I think we would move up there. We just have to move the snow farther north. Go right ahead. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, sir, I have a question actually from uh, Big Tuna. Big Tuna. Uh, yeah, Big Tuna. Big Tuna. And the question that she'd like to know is, um, you know, what's going on with all these wars that are happening around the world? And... There's talk of World War Three breaking out. World War Three, World War Two, World War Three. They're going to break out at any time. There's a lot of wars because a lot of countries are fighting over the fact that I am not president. 
They don't like the fact that America has a, oh, come on, man. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Oh, what's going on? They want a strong leader like me. People say I'm a strong man leader. There's nothing wrong with that. And I've already told you I'm going to be a dictator on the first day. And every day will be the first day because it'll be like Groundhog's Day. So don't worry. We are going to turn this country around. We have a question down in front. This comes from Dr. Marvin Grumble. Dr. Marvin Grumble. I like that name. Dr. Marvin. Dr. Marvin. Remember Marvin on, was it the Flintstones? Who was the little, who was the little alien? Marvin the Martian? Oh, that was Space Jam. That was Space Close. Jam. That was, it was Space yeah, Jam, was it? Love Space Jam. And I love the rap. The rap from Space Jam. Go ahead. Dr. Marvin Grumble asks, Sir, 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 greetings from Switzerland. Oh, love Switzerland. What watch are you wearing? Right now, I'm wearing my citizen's watch because I'm a U.S. citizen and I'm here legally. You know why? Because I was born here. And we have these Mexican baby machines crossing in the United States like Swiss cheese and fondue. By the way, Swiss cheese. And I love Swiss cheese. That's not to say anything against the Swiss cheese, but Swiss cheese has holes in it, which I always thought was a great marketing thing because you're actually getting less cheese for more cost because Swiss cheese is not cheap. It's not cheap, but I love the Swiss people. Uh, great, a great place. I, it, it's what's the wine they have over there? Chateau Lazerne. Is that is that the one? Chateau Lazerne. Chateau yeah, Lazerne. So. And Charlie Chaplin retired to Switzerland. Did you know that? You know why? He didn't want to pay the taxes here. And I'm going to get rid of all the taxes for the rich people, and we'll let the middle class and the poor people pay for it. Go ahead. Yes, Mr. President. Ralph's house says, "Sir, sir, sir." I've been trying your disco moves. In the nightclubs, pulling all the ladies too. Do you have any new ones I could try? Well, every time I do it, it's new. So it's macho, macho man. You have to bite the lip too. Mm, 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 mm. If you watch the video of me and Jeffrey Epstein, yeah. you can see a lot of my moves. I'm doing there. That's was in my really because I used to go to uh, Studio Fifty Four in course, New York. Yes. I've seen all the great dancers. Mm, mm, and then there's this one, and then there's just one hand, and there's one hand, and point. Always point. Tell who, tell whoever they're just. People up in the cheap seats. How are you guys? No, thank you for that. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Did I see some money come in? Yes. Uh, you got a donation from Buddy Hembry. Buddy Hembry. Buddy Hembry. Thank you, but ten, Wow. Thank you, Buddy Hembry. Thank Embry. you, Buddy. Woo! $10. That'll cover the coffee for one attorney for one minute. Thank you so much. You know, these guys bill it like $500 an hour. Can you believe that? I should have went to law school. Chat. I would have been a great attorney. I object. I object. You're out of order. <laughs> You're out of order. That was my Al Pacino. My Al Pacino. Good ahead. Buddy Henry said, Sir, sir, if you need a new caddy for the course, I know how. I clean balls better than Lindsey Graham. Oh, that's fantastic. I love a good ball cleaning. It really <laughs> it improves your game when you have somebody clean your balls. And that has a gentle touch. Has a gentle touch. Uh, my golf courses are very uh, dry, so you don't get a lot of uh, dirt on your balls. But clean balls are so incredibly important. And a good caddy. Is so, you know, because a lot of people, a lot of people don't realize this, but a caddy, he's like your aide, and they'll tell you, oh, it breaks right, it breaks left, it breaks this way. Go ahead. Uh. <laughs> Mr. President, Roger Roman from the Review Journal again. Roger Roman! Yes, Mr. Robbie Roger says, Roman. thank you, sir, for recognizing me. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. What would happen if uh, I put Trump spunk in my fondue? Would would that involve? Would oh, that evolve? Well, it would evolve. I, you know, I don't know if he can consume it and have babies, but uh, 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 what's her name? Horseface. Uh, who am I in court with? What's her name? Why am I forgetting her name? I, I put it out. Jane Carroll? What's that? No, no, no. The other one, the porn star. Uh, I, 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 how can I forget this? Stormy Daniels. No, Stormy, Stormy, Stormy Daniels. Of course, Stormy. She said it tasted very good. Okay. She said, not that I think that's very strange. I don't, you know, I, I, I'm not into that kind of thing. I wouldn't let, I wouldn't let anyone I'm married to do that. Okay. Right. If you know what I'm talking about. All right. We're down in front. This question comes from Lawrence Long. Lawrence Long. L L L L. Lawrence Long. Oh, by the way, everybody, if you're watching right now, hit that thumbs up. We need as many thumbs up as possible. Make 
make sure if you're liking this, enjoying this, subscribe and hit the notification bell because we're putting out new content all week, every week, every day. This is what I live for, folks. Go right ahead. LL asks, please, could you explain to us what kofefe means? Kofefe. Kofefe is a word to confuse the leftist, radical, Antifa-loving, communistic, socialistic, fascistic uh, fish sticks who have ruined this country. I say kofefe, they're losing their mind. Did you know they made like, uh, they made mugs, kofefe mugs, they made uh, stickers, they made t-shirts, all because I said kofefe, kofefe. Even uh, some guy named Randy Rainbow did a whole video on kofefe. kofefe. So that one, I'll take that to my grave. I'll take that to my grave. We have a question over here for the tickety tap. Yeah, yeah Mr. Mr. President, it's uh, Jarek Parker here again. Um, from Andy, uh, Angry Andy, actually. Angry, angry Andy. Angry Andy. Like Judge Angeron. He's very angry. Yeah, a very good question here. Um, he wants to know if he can book you for his kid's birthday. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll do anything. I'll do brisses. I'll do bar mitzvahs. <laughs> I'll do I'll do anything. Someone's coming home from the hospital. I'll be there at the door. You can walk without that chair. Come back into the house. I'll, I'll be anywhere you need me to be. I've got big legal bills. Go right ahead. Mr. President, Raja Raman once again. Raja. Marla Teresa Mendez says, when are you coming to Italy to visit our President Maloney? You have a friend in common, President Orban. Of Hungary. Oh, uh, Orban of Hungary. Yes. He's doing an absolutely incredible job. He's one of my favorite dictators. There's, uh, of course, we have V. Pooch, which we love, Vladdy. Uh, Kim Jong Un, who sent me many, many love letters. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got Orban. Uh, we've got who else? Who are the other great dictators? Oh, oh, Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. He has an X in his name. Here's an exodus thing. And can someone explain to me the O with the line through it in Russia? What the hell is that? That's incredible. But I want to come to Italy. I love the <laughs> Italian people, great people. And if you come to Trump Tower in New York, it's all pink marble. It's all pink marble. And where did we get that? We got that from Italy. Italy, the Italian people and Italian women. Wow. Wow. They are something else. And the, the Italian people are such hardworking people. They're good with tile, grout. Uh, uh, like I said, the marble. They're wonderful, and they sing, and they dance. Well, they don't really dance. They don't really dance, but they're great, wonderful people, and I, and I love them, and I like the Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, go right ahead. Mr. President, Marnie Moe says... Marnie Moe! Sir, 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 we would like to see a competition between you and Hal on the Red Green Show regarding your levels of expertise. I believe he told us that he started the CIA, something like that. I suppose that's more of a comment. More of a comment. Yeah. Who the hell am I talking about? Marty Moe. No, no, Marty Moe, I know. What How was the... on the Red Green Show. <laughs> How on the Red Green Show. Yes. I don't know about the Red Green Show. Do we know about the Red Green Show? I have no idea, sir. We have no idea. Okay. Sorry, we're going to find out, and we're going to get back to Marty Moe on that. I communicate with Marty Moe because you're always sending me great ideas. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. President, again, Jared Parker here, and I'm, I'm getting this question blown up on TikTok all oh. the time and all. Uh, again, America and TikTok would like to know, why is your face so orange? Why is my face so orange? Because it's a brand. It's a, it's a conscious brand. You know, some people, women wear makeup, and I'm not saying this is makeup. It's a color. It's a color choice. People feel much better when they see me, and I'm orange. Because I could be like a regular color, which is very boring, which is very boring. But everyone knows the brand. And what is the Trump brand? The Trump brand is success. Success. And orange is successful. Now, if I was green, I'd look sick. But orange is very, very <laughs> successful. That means I'm out in the sun. Go right ahead. This question comes from Nick Zapuski. Nick Zapuski. Nick, hello, Nick. They asked, sir, 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 we know sir, you sir, are sir. one of the world's greatest authors up there with Stephen King. Right. Will you be writing a sequel to The Art of the Steel? Well, as you know, The Art of the Deal, but I like steel. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Art of the Deal is my first favorite book. What's my second favorite book? The Bibble. I love the Bibble. People ask me to quote the Bibble all the time. I'm not going to quote the Bibble. But uh, if, if I get into the new version of the Bibble, which I was told I was by my evangelicals, then the Bibble will be the first book and Art of the Deal will be the second book. And we're going to write a sequel. Go right ahead. Sir, sir, on the sequel. tangent of the Bibble, yes. Mr. Robbie says, 
Mr. President, are you better than Jesus? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. I'm far better than Jesus. He was just some hippie wearing sandals <laughs> with a bunch of freeloaders. Did you know that he said it was easier for a poor person to get into he uh, heaven than a rich person to pass through the eye of a needle on a camel? What the hell is that talking about? <laughs> and you know, he was very violent. He was very violent. He flipped the uh, the money changers who we love. We love the money changers first. He flipped their tables. And then what did he do? He's at a party and instead of selling the wine, he gives the wine away. He takes water and he turns it into wine. He was not a good business person, but he was the son of God, which I think is fantastic because it shows you that nepotism works. Nepotism works. And that's why I want Lord Trump to run the RNC. I want her to run the RNC. That way I can get all the money, all the money from the RNC because I'm very, very rich. But I don't like to spend my money. I like to spend the RNC's money. Next question. This one comes from Helga Reinisch. Ooh, Helga. I like that name. Sounds okay. like she'd give me a really good massage. Helga. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Go ahead. Helga asked, asked what... <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Was the episode with Stormy Daniels worth it to you? No, no, and no. Uh, Stormy, uh, listen, you know, people, you know, she said some very mean things to me. She said some very mean things. She said my Trump <clears throat> Tower wasn't that big. Let me tell you something, all right? Once you've been with Mandingo, everything looks small, all right? I mean, come on. She's been with like eight guys at once. That's not fair to me. That's not fair to me. I was just trying to help her out. She was sexy back then you know this isn't that recent you know and then she said she wouldn't tell and then she said she would tell and what did i know i didn't i didn't do this they're saying it's election interference i didn't care about that i could shoot somebody on fifth avenue at five o'clock in the morning they'd still elect me but i didn't want melania to know because i love her so much go right ahead sir then you're next jared no. jen's wand says who? You, Jen who? Jen's wand. Oh, Jen's wand. Jen's wand. Jen's wand. <laughs> okay. Yes. Jen's wand. Sir, okay. sir, sir, would you call your brand a golden calf? I would call my brand a golden calf. They had a golden me at this uh, CPAC a couple of years ago. Uh, I love golden calves. I love golden cows. I love golden rings. Gold is a good thing. Don't let people think that uh, gold is a bad thing. Gold is a good thing. And I would have invested all my money in that, but I didn't, you know, I'm dealing with all this legal crap. Go right ahead. Yes, Mr. President, we have a question on, on TikTok here for you from um, 7540. And um, <laughs> do you support Palestine or Israel? Let me tell you something about this conflict. I love, love, love the Jewish people. Great people, fantastic people. So good with money, so good with money. And the reason that that's important is because I was the person who moved the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And the Jewish people love me for that, as do the Israeli people. They love me so much that they think my name, Donald J. Trump is Donald Jewish Trump. It's not, it's not, it's genius. It's Donald genius Trump because I'm a stable genius. I'm a stable genius. And that's With why I think we have the Israeli people doing what they're doing, but I'm not gonna say one way or the other. I'm just gonna compliment them and let them know how much I love them. Go ahead. This comes from Screams. A screams. Member. We love the Screams. We love the Screams. Screams asked, sir, 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 you say you're such a great golfer. I am. I'm a tremendous golfer. Then why not play on the senior tour? Well, I would, but I'm very, very busy fixing America, opening up steel plants, going to union shops that aren't union shops with actors holding up signs saying pro-union things. I have a lot to do so I can win this election, but the, the, the lot of the, as you know, I'm gonna be in court a lot, so that's not very, very fair. Go right ahead. Roger Raman again from Review Journal. Roger. Handmade Heart says, sir, 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 does golfing interfere with your court schedule? Well, it does, actually. Um, I would like to be golfing uh, next week, but I'm gonna have to be in New York because in the criminal cases, you have to be in court, which I think is ridiculous. You know what I mean? But when I was doing all of these other cases, th those are uh, those are not those are uh, not criminal. They're uh, what's the word uh, when it's not criminal? It's uh, not criminal. It's not criminal. Sorry. Exactly. Thank you. Go ahead. You have a question? Yes. Once again, sir, Mr. Robbie says, Mr. President, do you have 
upper and lower dentures? No, I don't. Where, I don't, where, where does this come from? Where does this come from? <laughs> All I said was America. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time, you know what I mean? L listen, look at look at Joe with the big fake choppers, the big fake. Did you believe this guy had teeth like that all in a row like chiclets? I don't think so. That's not true. And I don't wear dentures and I was never bald and I didn't get a hair transplant. What other ridiculous things do they say about me? Go ahead. Sir, Gloria Roberts has a very good question. You Gloria look wonderful, Roberts. but Thank tired. You. Is it taking a lot out of you to produce the Trump spunk? It absolutely is. Trump spunk is the greatest spunk, and I guarantee that, because you'll get Trump children out of the Trump spunk. And yes, it takes a lot out of me. I have to be doing this practically all the time. In the middle of meetings, I've got to be working on this. On phone calls, I'm working on this. I'd be working on it right now if I could, but you know, I can't. I don't want to get in trouble on the YT or the tickety talk. But a lot of times, if you see me moving around like this, I'm probably working on it right now. I can't produce this stuff forever, folks, so make sure you get your Trump spunk. It's $1,000 a jar. I guarantee at least five children out of it. I'm not supporting them, but just bring them to the inauguration and we'll all meet up for a family reunion. Go right ahead. You just got a donation from Branch Archer. Branch, we know Branch Archer. Yes. I always say it sounds yes. like a spy. Branch Archer. Branch yes. Archer donated $9.99. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Branch. We love uh, $9.99. Yes. Branch yeah, yeah. said, sir, 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 people say that Escape from New York is a true story about Snake Plissken. We love Snake Plissken. Getting you, as president, out of Manhattan Island Prison. Is that true? I love that story. I like Snake Plissken. I like what's his name who plays Kurt <laughs> Russell. Kurt Russell. He's a little bit of a hippie. He never married Goldie Hawn, but their daughter, um, uh, 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 Kate Hudson. Wow. Is she something else? She's a knockout. Uh, she kind of reminds me of Ivanka, my daughter, who I'd like to date, but I'm not allowed because of these stupid rules about fathers are not allowed to date their daughters. We really need to update the Bibble in that particular area. Go ahead, next question. Sir, Catch Rustic Roger chat. asks, Rustic Mr. Roger. President, what's the best brand of adult diapers? <laughs> I'd say the best. <laughs> I'd say the best brand. Uh, is, uh, you know what's funny about the adult diapers is a lot of people think it's called Depends. <clears throat> it's Depend. It's Depend. And the whole time I've been up there, I've been using my de <laughs> <laughs> diaper. And they, they work, they absolutely <laughs> work great. Hold on, I got to shake. Oh. There we go. That was number one and number two. Sure. Combined. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that felt great. That felt great. Yeah, that, it's depend. But, you know, I've tried the lower quality. I tried the Amazon basic brand. Yeah, you don't want to do that one. Go with the classics. Go with the classics. Uh, I, I, but I think that's the best one. I think it's the best one. And by the way, it's not because I'm, I'm intercontinental or anything like that. It's just I'm always on the go. I'm always on the go. I don't call them. I don't call them adult diapers, by the way. I call them executives. Executives, because I'm so busy. Go right ahead, Mr. President. Thank you for the aromatherapy, by the way. Yes, you're, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> it's like an essential oil. It's like an essential oil. Very we essential. should sell that too. We should sell that too in jars like this. Go right ahead. Romel Beza says, "Sir, sir, sir, sir." Sir, sir, sir. Oh, that's four sirs. Well, actually, five. Five sirs. Do I you, knew that. I was testing you. Do you like you. chocolate chip cookies as much as Slow Mojo? Slow Mojo. Yeah. Slow Mojo. I think Slow Mojo is pretty good. I do love chocolate chip cookies, but I think Slow Mojo is the best Mojo because I've experienced that all the time, especially when I'm dancing with the. Women love that, so I like the Slow Mojo. I like the Slow Mojo. And if you want your own jar of Mojo, Trump Spunk is available. It's tremendous. A thousand dollars a jar. Guarantee you five Trump children out of that. A turkey baster and everything you need. Go ahead. Uh, to go right off of that, Ralph ha Ralph's house asks. Ralph's house. 
Sir, do you have posters of Alina Haba in your trunk spunk factory? Oh my God, absolutely. <laughs> Alina Haba. I call her Haba Daba Doo. Haba Daba Doo. You know, she's so smart and she's so pretty. She was on some talk show and they said, Would you rather be smart than pretty? And she said, I'd rather be pretty because you can always fake smart. And she is faking smart, folks. She is crushing it when it comes to faking smart. That Alina Haba. By the way, Alina Haba. Uh, is always there for me at Mar-a-Lago, but we can't seem to find Melania. I hope you're listening, Melania, because Alina Haba is ready to go. I might make her my fourth first lady, if you know what I'm talking about. Go, we got two. Go over here and then over here. Yeah, thanks, uh, Mr. Trump. Again, it's Jared Parker here. Jared uh, Parker. Uh, uh, question here. I know you're doing a lot of campaigning. A lot of all, campaigning. And it's going great. We're filling, we're filling stadiums. Okay, we're filling stadiums. And that's great. More no. people but, than the Super Bowl. More people than the Super Bowl. Wow. That's, yes, it's that's incredible. tremendous. It tremendous. is. It's huge. But, it's huge. you know, the question that, that we are having is you're you're promising the supporters, uh, you know, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, yep, uh, exactly. For your second term. Yes, you exactly. Okay, what are some of those key points? Because a lot of people don't know oh, in, well, in the world. We're going to get rid of Trump. Uh, we're going to get rid of Obamacare, right? And we're going to replace it with Trump care. And it's going to be 10 times better. And we already have a slogan for Trump care. It's Trump care. We'll tell you when you're sick. You see that? We'll let you know when you're sick. And believe me, no one will be sick and no one will need insurance because that's the most important thing. Go ahead. Mr. President, another question from Jen's wand. Jen's wand. I, I have to see Jen's wand at some point. Sir, 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 do you feel like your mental and physical age are matching with the need to wear diapers? Uh, no, but I'm, this is a choice because I'm very, very busy. I'm very busy. And they're not diapers. They're executive diapers. They're executive diapers. Listen, I pack more into a day than most people, and I don't have time to be sitting on a pot or the throne or my golden toilet. I need to be saving America from the leftist, communist, socialist, fascistic fish sticks that are ruining this country. I can't be caught on the toilet. I'd ra <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be helping America. Oh man. Whew. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Take your time. <laughs> More aromatherapy. There we go. All right, we're back. We're back. Go ahead. Question from Flawed Reality. Flawed re Wow. This is what Joe Biden asked. Flawed Reality. Go right ahead. Flawed Reality asks, sir, 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 I'm a big man with tears in my eyes. Do you prefer a picture of Putin or a picture of Kim to produce your spunk? Asking for a friend. Kim? Kim? Kim, Kim Jong-un. Oh, Kim Jong-un. <laughs> well, you know, I was never one of these guys into Asian women, so I'm going to go with Vladdy. <laughs> Uh, because he, you know, because when I stand next to him, I can look down at him. So that's a little more. It's more in line of the two. And you know, a lot of people don't realize, but Kim Jong Un, he's kind of a barrel-chested big guy. He's a big guy. Not my, not my type, as I said about E. G. Go ahead, Mr. President. Roger Roman mm. again. Jason Ladd says, sir. Jason Ladd. I think we've had Jason before. I right? probably yes, sir, sir, <laughs> sir. Did Taylor Swift? Thank you for making her rich. Oh, absolutely. As soon as the Super Bowl was over, she was like, sir, 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 President Trump, sir. I'm here with Kelsey, sir, even though he's a left-wing nut job. But I just wanted to thank you for the millions and millions of dollars you've given me with the Music Modernization Act. So she has actually helped me. And I do, you know, I, I like... I like Taylor, but she's a psyop that was, uh, they built her in a lab in 1989. <laughs> she even gives it away on her album. She says, I was built in 1989. So we all know that, the, and who was the president in 1989? I think it was, uh, it had to be a Democrat. Uh, maybe it was Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton. Uh, who, by the way, was, well, well, you know, I can't bring it up again, but you know what I'm talking about. Go right ahead. This is a question from Mom to Huskies. Oh, we know Mom to Huskies. We yes, know Mom to yes, Huskies. Regular, she always has good regular. questions. Sir, Lord God. Thank you. Would you take donations of diapers? I have woman-sized medium depends from when I had a colonoscopy. 
<laughs> well, you know what? I, I like, I think it's important. Sure. Send them my way. Send them my way because it, I'm going to have a team that's very busy. And you never know. Maybe I can resell them. Maybe I'll sign them and put them on the interwebs and sell them on uh, on Truth Social or something. That would be fantastic. Go ahead. Well, we got a report from the chat from Mr. Robbie that Bush was president in 19. Thank you so much. Exactly. Bush <laughs> was president, and that was right before Clinton. And what did what did George Bush Sr. do? What did he do? He ran the CIA. He ran the CIA. Taylor Swift is a deep psyop, and I think they have a, from what I learned when I was president, they have a songwriting department. So it's obviously some of the best songwriters are putting out her songs so she can be rich and date Travis Kelsey. It was a long-term project with a long tail. They call it a long tail. They call it a long tail. <laughs> and uh, this is what we have now. We have people working for Biden. And by the way, Biden was a senator back then, so he was obviously in on this. He was obviously in on this. And this is what they do, folks. This is the deep state at work. Go ahead. Sir, again, Roger Rahman. Um, Gloria Roberts has a comment. Maybe you can invent Trump's bunk powder to snort. Oh, that's that would be great. Yeah. I think that would be uh. wonderful. I don't know if it'll be as effective as the real Trump spunk thousand dollars a jar i'm whipping up new batches every single day we're getting reports and it tastes great as a dipping sauce for chicken wings i don't don't waste it a thousand dollars but make sure you get the oh. we send it along with the turkey baster we also have the uh trump uh baby the tester pregnancy test we have everything all in one kit. We can make this happen. And you don't need a guy, even though you should have a guy because that's America. But you can do this, ladies. You can do this on your own. It'll be fantastic. Go right ahead. We have a question. This one comes from Wolf Shanzi, 1944. 1944. Uh, this is a good one. Sir, 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 does Trump spunk come in courts? Uh, come in, I can make more. I can make more. If you're willing to pay, I can make more. It'll be absolutely fantastic. And as I mentioned... Uh, in the commercial, in the video, you can watch the Trump Spunk video. We have a disclaimer there. We tell you exactly how this works. It's really incredible. But we have removed, we have removed the Don Jr. weak swimmers. We have removed the Eric Tadpoles. And we've totally gotten rid of the Tiffany jeans. You're only getting me, Baron, and Ivanka. And really, what's Ivanka? It's me with different plumbing. I mean, honestly, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. By the way, if you are watching, give this a thumbs up. We want as many people to know about the weekly press conference where every single Friday, uh, if you're all watching on the YouTube, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. If you're watching on the Tickety Talk right there, we need you to make sure that you follow me. We're at 5.9 million followers. We want to get back to 6 million, and we want to get to 125,000 on the YT. We have a question, Jared. Go yes, right Mr. President, um, I think America really would like to know uh, once again, uh, what's the ruling going to be on the Supreme Court with, uh, you know, what's going on before this, February? This is a, this is a fair, you know, the big date that you have with the, the court here. So this is on presidential immunity. So I think it's important that presidents can kill anyone they want because here's why, folks. This isn't, <laughs> don't, don't go overboard, all right? But, you know, you've got Vladimir Putin. He's, he's, um, what's the word we have to use, Cass? I can't use the K word. We have to say disappear. What do we say? Oh, um, expire, uh, oh, legally. I'm trying to remember it. Not living. Uh, we have a term. Unalive. Unalive. Okay. We, <laughs> so here's the thing. I can't say what I want to say because of this stuff, but, um, Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un, Xi Jinping, they can make, uh, I journalists unalive. Subscribers. They can do that. I can't do that. I want to make people unalive. I'm the most powerful man in the world, and I can't make people unalive. That's not fair. So I want to make people unalive. And the only way you can do that is presidential immunity. I won't use it on anybody who doesn't deserve it. I want to say that. So this ruling is going to go through. I will get presidential immunity. I'll be able to do anything I want. I had dinner with Brett Kavanaugh. Uh, Joni Canny Barrett, whatever the hell her name is, and uh, Clarence <laughs> Thomas. We had a wonderful dinner. And know who joined us? Aileen Cannon, Eileen Cannon. They're all on board with this. The ruling is going to go great. 
I even picked up the check, which I never do, <laughs> which I never do. So they, they got the message. Raj, Mr. Right President ahead. Roger Raman again. Eduardo Saul asks, do you miss your vacations at Epstein Island? I do. I do. That was very private. Uh, the girls were all very attractive. Uh, we had a wonderful, wonderful time. And people like, the, they, they get so free. Listen, it was just, the, it was a massage. It was a massage, all right? Ah. Sometimes I got a happy ending, sometimes I didn't. You know what I mean? Uh, you know who was weird? Uh, my attorney, he would keep his clothes on. I thought that was very, very strange. <laughs> but Bill Clinton went. Uh, the guy, Stephen Hawking, he went. No one's giving him a hard time. Listen, you know what I mean? We're men. We do manly things. I have very big hands. I have very big hands. Go right ahead. <clears throat> this comes from Bob Sloys. Bob Sloys. Bob Sloys asks, can you please send me another jar of spunk? My wife accidentally used it in this morning to glaze the donuts she made for breakfast. Thanks. Mm. Well, I guess she must be like Stormy Daniels. She likes the taste of that. Uh, we do not send replacements. Uh, but you can buy a, a special jar just for him with proof of purchase. I'll knock off 10% on the next bottle. 10%. Or if you just uh, tell me how much you use, we'll send you that amount. We'll make it a lot easier. Raj. Mr. Raj. President. Yes, Raj. My friend again. from New York. Yes. Go ahead. Mr. Robbie asks, if I inject Trump spunk, I will I also love have subscribers? Ooh, Ooh. Wow. Yes. You know what? This is why we need to do more research on Trump spunk, because I think if we can do it, this is what they call in the medical field a second indication. If this can give you immunity, I think everybody should be taking Trump spunk. You get immunity from colds, <laughs> flu, COVID, and uh, uh, fraud charges. I think it's the best thing we can do. In fact, I'm gonna make, you know how I declassify things with my mind? I just made this, these now gives immunity. Trump spunk gives immunity. It is for men and for women, which I think is wonderful. Thank you so much for that question. Go right ahead. Yes, uh, again, Roger Raman. Uh, Lawrence Long asks. Lawrence that. Long. Yes, Lawrence Long. I hope he's long because otherwise that's false advertising. I hope so too with all that spunk. Apparently you gifted Ivanka a jar of Trump spunk for mm. Christmas. Right. What was her reaction or did she have a reaction? Oh, she said something in French. She said, ew. So I think that's a good thing, right? Like, yes, ew. That's French yeah. for yes. Yes, it's good. French for yes. So she was very, very happy, um, you know, because she's got me in the friend zone. I thought this would be the perfect gift for her. Instead of her kids looking like Jared, they would look like me. You know what I mean? And people said, well, that's inappropriate. I said, no, it's very appropriate. Makes a great gift. All right. Uh, by the way, if you're watching right now on the YT, make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button because we love doing this for you every single week. We have wonderful people. Come make some noise, by the way. In the press room. We've got a great team yeah. of people in here. Uh, if you're watching on the Tickety Talk, make sure you follow me on that one. We've at, we're at 5.3. Nine million people. We need to get back to six million. Over here, we want 125,000 followers. And over here, we have a question. Go right ahead. Mr. President, again, Roger Rahman. Handmade Hearts asks, Sir, 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 why are your tiny hands so white compared to your glowy orange face? Oh, because I don't put the uh, cocoa tan on my hands because I golf and it gets inside the gloves and it turns the gloves orange. So we just keep the hands free. Hands free for uh, for that, but if it's really noticeable, I will start hitting them with makeup. There we go, beautiful. Do we have another question? Yeah, we do right here. We right here. Yeah, Mr. President, again, it's Jared Parker. Uh, question here. Uh, Hold on. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay. Sir. All right. Go ahead. Right. Okay. Okay, great. Um, uh, this is from uh, uh, that one Rose Melt. Tear to my eye. Oh, yeah. Rose Melt. Rose what? Uh, Rose Melt. Anyhow, um, can you tell us tell us about? He's asking this. Can you tell us about your ties uh, with Cuba and uh, do you like their coffee? Well, oh, I love Cuban coffee. Yeah. Cleans you right out. It's like rocket fuel. It's just boom. <laughs> right. It's really incredible. Uh, it's not even really coffee. It's called like X Lax or some Cubo Lax. <laughs> Cubolax, that's what they should call it. Uh, I, I, they don't make my ties, though. They don't make my ties. My ties are all made in China mm. and Vietnam. China, 
Yeah, yeah, but I like the Cuban. Listen, Wait you a know, sir, you just said China. I thought you China. said everything should be made in America. You oh, get oh, your, I, your they, well, that's for everybody else. That's for everybody else. <laughs> I mean, I, you know what I mean? They, they're those tiny little seven-year-old hands do the best work on any kind of fabric kind of stuff. <laughs> they're so quick. They're so quick. Go right ahead. This question comes from Elena. Back in the channel. Yes. Yes, we know. We had Elena, Elena on last week. We had Elena on last week. <laughs> Elena asked or said, in this Valentine's week, please share your heartfelt me heartfelt message of love for America. Hmm. Well, you know, I read my I read my letter to Melania that went viral, by the way, it went viral. But I just I'll, I'll read it again. Dear America, I love you. Uh even after every single indictment, arrest, witch hunt by the losers and the haters, you've never left my side, my wonderful mega people. You always support me through everything and send me lots and lots of money because even though I'm rich, I don't like to use my money. I like to use your money, so you have to send it to me. I can't use your money unless you send it to me. So we've got lots of ways to do that. Go right ahead. Next Mr. Question. President, Roger Raman again. Roger Raman. Yes, Mr. Robbie Roger. says, Mr. President, please finish this quote from the Bible. Oh, from the Bible. Okay. Two Corinthians walk into a bar. Uh, and they say, why the long face? I should have mentioned their horses. Should have mentioned their horses. Why the long face? <laughs> Thank you for that, sir. <laughs> yes, and uh, two Corinthians is my fa as you know, is, is is my favorite. I also like uh, I also like the one John three sixteen, and uh, Luke four twenty. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you have another question. One more question. Sorry, go right sir. ahead. No, I like your questions. Marty Mo asks, sir, 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 are you at all nervous about the penalty that Judge Engeron will be issuing this afternoon? Listen. Judge Angeron, who looks like Larry David, uh, I never liked him, and I never liked his clerk who sits there and whispers in his ear. <laughs> You're not allowed to have clerks do that, folks. Clerks can't sit there and tell you things. That's not fair. That's not judging. That's assistant judging. That's like having a referee who's a trainee telling you what the call should be. That's not fair. But Judge Angeron allegedly is going to hit me with a half a billion dollar fine and you know what they want to do they want to bankrupt they want to bankrupt bankruptcy me they want to bank and they also want to de debank me that's what it is they want to debank me so don't let them debank me folks i need a half a billion dollars and i need it today let's show them i also need 83 million dollars so if we get that in that would be great right here down in front i do want to let you know mr president that the current time is 1102 oh it's 1102 wow this went really, really fast. Well, folks, you've been absolutely great. Is there a really good question uh, we're waiting on? Why don't we do that? There we'll is, from William Griffin. Sir, could you take pictures of your feet and sell them to your adoring fans? You know, it's <laughs> funny you mentioned that because I had somebody on Cameo who wanted me to, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we, he put two, Carlos, not so much onion in the omelet next time. Um, we had somebody who hired me to do Cameos and they wanted to see my feet. They wanted to say, I did five of those. And I thought it was disgusting, but I love money. So that really worked out great. <laughs> Folks, you've been absolutely incredible today. Don't forget, we've got Trump Spunk. Go back and watch the commercial. It's in the video lineup. It's absolutely hilarious. If you're watching right now on the Tickety Talk, follow me. If you're watching on YT, subscribe. Hit the like button for this live press conference right now. It helps people to see it. We do these every week. It's one hour minimum of great, great comedy and uh, news, news you can use. We always have special guests, so we're going to bring them up right now. Let's bring them up, Raj and Jarrett. Let's get them up here. We're going to find out who these right. wonderful, you know, because I don't like the press. It's fake news, but they're real news. They're real news. So come on up here, Hello, guys. Mr. President. Good to see you guys. Nice Thank you, you so much. Give them a hand. Hey. Out hey. TV yeah. Yeah. Mr. President, yes. yes, Roger and I wrapped up the Constitution right here. Oh, you right wrapped here. up the Constitution? We, did. we wrapped it up right here. And you know what's inside the Constitution? Yeah, which is it? What's inside? Well, it's wow. the American oh. flag. Wow. Go ahead, pull it on your head. There you That's go. A, I love That's the American flag. That's a gift for flag. you. Yeah, look I at that. I love the American flag. Woo! This is yeah. incredible. <laughs>
Look at that. It's the only thing I'll ever let block my face is the American <laughs> flag. It's so incredible. Well, you guys were great. Where yeah. can people find you? Where the, you know on on the on the interwebs? Where can they find well, you? You can find them Jarrett and Raja um, on all social um, media platforms. Instagram, Instagram, YouTube, and that's okay. J A R R E T T A N D R A J A. Can you do that one more time? Because my my my, my my audience may not be totally on top of spelling. The at sign. J A R R E T T A N D R A J A. Wow. Awesome. I felt like I was back at the University of Pennsylvania learning. Yeah. I'm such a great learner. I'm so amazing. Well, thank you, sir. You guys thank were great. You. Now, we always thank end you. with uh, YMCA. So, you ready? Yeah. And just yeah. follow me. Because, ready? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 YMCA da 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 YMCA It's got everything for your man to enjoy You can hang out with all the boys One more time, here we go YMCA da 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 YMCA We'll see you guys